Hello my viewers again. Today I'm going to be making a simple shells. So come and join me. I'll show you the ingredients that I'm going to use. Come on. Okay, we're going to need our cutting board, our knife, our shells, salt, garlic powder, black pepper, parsley, tomato paste, and a small piece of tomato and onion, and of course, hot. So, today we are going to use olive oil. I'm going to heat up a little bit. And then, I'm going to use this whole bag of shells. my kitchen scissors. Here we go. Kitchen scissors. Put a whole bag in here. And then while that's getting done, check it up a little bit so it'll spread out. We have a elbow showing showing here for some reason. It's just one. Now we are going to cut some a little bit of tomato, not too much. You guys see what I'm doing? All shell soup. Smaller pieces, not big pieces. Like so. Now let's get our onion. Okay, get our onion going. That's about right. Everything together so we can cut smaller pieces. Cut them to small pieces, like so. I like to eat this shell soup with um, crackers, different kind of crackers that we have. Once you see them start to get a little bit brown, not a lot, then you add the onions and the tomatoes. Okay, they're turning brown now. I'm going to add onion and tomato, like so. So you won't get stuck in the pan on the pot. Let me show you what it looks like right now. Come with me. Let's look in the pan. We're going to keep stirring. Very easily. Okay. 
wieder ganz so. Cover them up in water. Like um, an inch and a half. Then it is for like right here, okay, guys. If you guys can see. Notice for like right here. And then I put this much, this much water. So it's just a little bit of water. And then we're going to add salt. too much garlic powder well you can add extra garlic powder for taste because you don't want too much salt on there black pepper lots of black pepper our parsley that's Mr. Kitty guy enough parsley too there we go and then we're going to add our tomato paste. You can use the regular tomato, but I kind of like this one. Put another hole under it. We're going to squeeze it out. One tablespoon, two, just about three tablespoons. Teaspoons, I mean. I can close it up, yeah, it'd be great. There we go. And then we're going to stir again. And this is what it looks like once all the ingredients are in there in our water. I'm trying to get this so you can see that person right there. Let's see that. Right there. Parsley and everything is in there, so we're just going to let it sit. Simmer a little bit. Letting it boil. It doesn't take long to cook, so that's very good. This is my shell soup. Sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top. We're just letting it cook. I'll turn it this way so you can see. Right now it is still boiling. Maybe a few more minutes. I'll get this stuff ready. I have a lot of dishes on this side. I'm going to this, use this white bowl and put this right here. Get us a nice spoon. 
cream, a nice spoon. It's boiling already. This is a very simple shell soup. You can make this soup anytime you guys like. Um, winter, summer, spring, fall. Um, delicious soup. That's Mr. T. If you guys hear him, that's Mr. T. He wants my attention because I'm cooking delicious food. Okay. Keep stirring. You don't want it to stick. So delicious. All my family loves this kind of soup. Very delicious. Now the reason I put the onions and tomato to fry for the shells is to add those flavors and put the tomato in there. Then later on I added the tomato paste, which is, also has great flavor. show you here. Let me bring you back this way so you guys can see. Come join me. This is what it's looking like, our shell soup. Look at all the shells. Salt, garlic powder, black pepper, parsley, see that? tomato paste, onions, tomato, See that? Nice, delicious soup. You guys gotta try this. It is so delicious. Try it anytime you guys like. Or if you guys want me to make a different kind, I can make it for you guys. See that? All that deliciousness. Please enjoy this soup. All the goodness are in here. Guaranteed it'll take you out of cold. I'm going to bring you back this way. And once you notice the shells are soft, it's ready. I'm just going to take one shell, put it on this side. Ready. Our soup is ready. We are going to put crackers on the side. I'm going to use woven crackers, and kitchen scissors. These are woven crackers. Not the regular crackers, but these actually absorb all this, most of the soup. I'm going to put a few here. As many as you would like. Soup is ready. We're going to turn this off. It is so delicious. Let me show you something, guys. I'm going to it over this way. And I'm going to be on to best see this. I don't know if you guys can see this, but let me just serve here and then I'll show you guys.
over here. And then we're going to add a little bit of cheese on here. crackers and this is our soup right there our delicious shell soup hope you guys enjoy this shell soup with woven crackers right there bring it back this way so yeah that's what it looks like our soup I don't think you guys can see it let me lift it up again Woven crackers, right there. Woven crackers with shell soup, my way. So hearty and delicious. Please make this at your home, cook it. It is so delicious, very healthy, and delicious for any time of the year. And thank you guys again for joining me for this meal. My favorite shell soup with crackers. And give me that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys. For joining me, God bless you guys. Thank you.